Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 5 of the restoration of the Clarissa guitar. First of all, I'm going to bolt back the neck to the body. I used the original wood screws and they seem to fit easily. We use a simple flat head screwdriver and it's no problem at all. The neck fits like a glove and the next step is to uh, mount the tuning pegs. And then of course I will check the uh, string height above the 12th fret for the action. And yes, the headstock has a little dent. I could not get the filler to fill it up completely but it doesn't affect the playability nor the sound so I leave that for, for now. Putting back the tuning mechanisms is an easy job. I use the original screws and it's uh, very easy, easily done. The restoration is basically done now. Uh, the next step is to put on some strings. I did flatten the frets and they need only a tiny bit of correction. They were pretty good as they were. Of course, as said earlier, I have to check the action and if that is not okay, then I have to deal with that. But at this moment, our first step is to put on the strings. I chose nylon strings, but I think the guitar will sound better with steel strings, but the friend of mine who I, whom I made it for, uh, preferred nylon strings. The action above the 12th uh, fret should be about 3 millimeters and uh, we will check that when the strings are on. If necessary I could shim it with a little shim under the neck to correct the string height. Uh, for no special reason I chose Dadario. It is uh, a good string quality and it sounds great. So we're gonna use this one. As you can see there is a little hole in the fretboard but I will take care of that later. It does not affect playability nor the sound. As you can see, I use the classical uh, standard technique to uh, fix the strings at the bridge uh, end. Uh, nothing special. The string will pull uh, the nut or the button and it will fix itself down. Here at the headstock the same, classic technique, don't think fancy, but it is very effective. Now the next step is to check the string height above the 12th fret, the action. And it is, it is a bit hard to see, but it is, it is about 3 millimeters, 3 millimeters, uh, which is uh, exactly good. This is what we want to see. So we don't have to adjust that. That is uh, nice told you it's a nice guitar. Again the classic way to wind the strings, nothing special, but uh, they will stay in tune this way. And now is the time to 
tune the strings. There are several ways to tune a guitar. I use the easy way out this time and use an electronic <laughs> tuner. It turns green when the sound is uh, right. With new strings you have to repeat this process a few times because new strings tend to stretch. I found that the nut at the high E string was a bit too tight and I have to widen that. If you don't fix that you, uh, you really will have problems with tuning. The high E is 0.028 of an inch and the width has to be at least that same amount. I have a little hand saw with a width of 0.028 of, of an inch. Done. And it tunes perfectly, it stays in tune now. It's a nice guitar. It's a nice guitar, it stays in tune and uh, I'm going to 